looking back on it, I mean, I appreciate it a lot more now because when you're 20 years of age, you, you just roll with pretty much everything and you don't um, realise the importance of things. But, um, yeah, it was obviously very important. Um, my mum's people come from over at Sojourner on the, on the Air Peninsula and, um, yeah, Aboriginal heritage is very important to me and um, got a lot of Aboriginal relatives who were very, very proud of, that, of the year that I had that year and to be named, um, yeah, I suppose I, I represent my, my clan from over there by winning that Aboriginal award. Well, being a young Aboriginal person growing up, I think we um, obviously uh, stick together and we sort of have lots of families uh, who are closely knit and um, we live in big families at home, so there's not much room in the in the house and so on. But um, yeah, look, uh, yes and no. I, I think we've all got our um, um, difficulties growing up, and I, I think um, I just think at the end of the day, if you want to achieve something, no matter what it is, who you are, what race, um, if you put your mind to it, you can achieve whatever you want, regardless of all the negatives uh, that surrounds you or. Or, or you know where you grow up. You know, it's amazing just to, to see how many Aboriginal, play, Aboriginal um, players have come into the game in recent years. Um, I'm not surprised because um, being an Aboriginal person, I remember all the young, talented kids who used to play against me in the junior days were outstanding. And um, I suppose the thing that gets you to the top is just um, sticking at it and, and your dedication. So a lot of people got skill and talent, but. And um, yeah, in today's game, there's yeah, some outstanding Aboriginal footballers. Um, you've got obviously, obviously, Adam Goods won two Brownlows already, and he's kind of still a young man. Um, won a grand final last year. Um, look, the world's their oyster, and he's already halfway to um, you know, becoming great. So um, I'll be watching him closely over the next few years, and I'm sure he'll uh, finish his career off uh, in, in fashion, in great fashion. Um, Aaron Davey, young, he's a cousin of mine, my first cousin. So uh, it's great to see little Flash. Uh, he's just so light and quick. He lays unbelievable tackles. Um, his skills, that, his goal kicking is excellent. And um, he'll, uh, yeah, I'm sure he'll finish his career off uh, in great fashion also. You've got guys like Sean Burgoyne and Peter Burgoyne. Sean Burgoyne's emergence last year is unbelievable. The top. I reckon top two uh, on ballers in the competition. Some of the games he took a lot of scruff of the neck and just dominated. Just no one could tackle him and just shrug him off like a piece of paper. It was just oh, blew me away some of his performances this year. And I don't really say that too much about anyone. So he's he's got um, great potential in front of him to be anything. It's funny you, you hear the media people talk about Jarden Cousins all the time, and of late I've just started hearing people talk about that little Perth and I think he's equally as important to the side as Judd and Cousins. Just, he's in and under, his hard will gets unbelievable, he carries the ball, um, he, yeah, he feeds it out to the runners. Um, it'd be interesting to see um, the win-loss ratio when he's playing. Uh, I, I think he got injured in the last uh, in last year's grand final quite early, who knows if he was playing they might have, might have had two premierships.